Hey guys, and welcome back to Small Found and Why. So today is Monday, and that means that we are using Burning and Bestie Bell. So this deck is still kind of, uh, you know, not very aggressive. Uh, I just kind of feel like I don't want to run any background in a deck on Diamond and Why, because it's not the point. It's not the, I don't know, Yu Gi Oh! is so background reliant that, you know, I'm. I feel like I should be able to beat my opponent without using the strength of the background, but then if I don't use background, then this deck really doesn't have any bite, so. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the snuggles, they're real. Yeah. Yep. You're good. Go ahead. Well, I got Regeki and Soul Charge. So, who you gonna go into? Utopia too strong? All right. Apparently, Utopia too strong. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take the duel slow. Let's card this card sent to a grave. Someone bring this from your deck. Okay, that's cool. I can always bring them back with Crane Crane, so I'm not even worried about that. I'll take the duel slow because I can. You can go ahead and go into Utopia. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about Utopia right now. I can throw a Regeki at him whenever I feel like it. Okay. Hmm. No, this is resolved. Alright. Fact. I can't believe this card say when this card is sent to the grave, just period. It's fucking ridiculous. Alright. Let me go ahead and swim this card. Alright. This guy has used a lot of materials for his Utopia, so I think I'll go ahead and, uh, Regeki him. Yep, Regeki. Got Soul Charger and Regeki. The same hand. In the same damn hand. Hmm. Actually, I might not have to. Yeah, I might not have to. I could summon Crane Crane. Skarn would die. Crane Crane effect. Summon back, uh, Grav. XC into Zen mains. Right? Yeah, Zen mains. Zen mains is still good. The question is, should I even go through the hassle? Nah, I'm just gonna throw the lightning four attacks at him. I mean, the lightning four attacks for Regeki. I'm not used to saying I'm gonna throw the Regeki at him. Lightning four attacks says, uh, you guys get it. Yeah, it's so similar that. My mind has a food process that Regeki is unbanned, so my mind just goes to the next best thing that's, you know, that wasn't banned, which would be Lightning Vortex, so. But are they in the same way? I mean, you know, like Regeki, I mean, Lightning Vortex, you discard a card and it destroys the face up monsters? Regeki, all the monsters. Face up, face down, up, down, left, right, up your butt. Nope, destroy it. Destroy your fucking Utopia. He is not too strong. <laughs> He's strong. He's just strong enough, huh? Destroy your monster. Thank you. Oh, summon Armageddon Knight. Scarn will die. Armageddon Knight. Fact. Who do I want to send? That was a hard choice. There's so much. Oh man, of course I was gonna get the rank up the Astro Horse. I would love that right now. <sighs> guess I should go ahead and send the bell, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna get a knight. You served your purpose, so go ahead and get some damage in. War up on the resources, because of that Ragaki, so very appreciative of that play. Hmm, I'm set a monster, huh? Caesar born. Okay. You know you're supposed to put that as a C material, right? Whatever. What's this card do? This card attacks your opponent, you're not got any so this card has utopia. Okay, so it won't have utopia, so I just can't activate any spells or traps when it attacks. That's cute. That's fine, I don't mind. Oh, I forgot to get Scarn. Oh. Oh, Scarn Effect. Scarn Effect. I forgot to get Scarn Burn in the face, so I'll give it to a guide. Uh. That doesn't have any bite. 
Oh, I must see that during the end phase. Draw. Oh, let me reverse. That's good. That's good. Totally didn't mind that. And this is supposed to be Tasha and Mixi Bicho. Alright, it's Mirror Force. Sure, that would probably fuck the melon? No, no, not really. Alright. I have planes, but I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Just trying to figure out what I want to do. This stick has no fucking bite to it. The fucking rank threes aren't strong enough. The fuck is Dante gonna do? Absolutely nothing. I guess I can just go ahead and go for uh, yeah. It affects and negated. Good. All right, I'm gonna go for Crane Crane. Crane Crane get his Crane Crane effect. Let's go ahead and send a Scarm. It affects and negated, of course. Good. The two are guiding Crane Crane are just like hot shit in this deck. Next, see the Zen mains. I'll set the learn reverse and then my turn. More back row, huh? That's fine. I said Yuki was two back row reliant. I can win duels without back row. You're really going to attack me? Alright. Go ahead and detach Skarm. What about his effect? What is about his effect? A, you don't even have Utopia on him, and B, you don't have anything to detach, so. The only thing I can't do is activate spells or traps. Yeah, what about his effect? So I thought, uh, Scarm Effect, Zen Chain. Scarm Effect, Zen Chain. So Zen, go ahead and destroy that. And Scarm, go ahead and search me for a, another tour guide. Alright, now that the chain is resolved, I can play another one. What the fuck is this card? Your opponent applies a direct attack and they get attacked, then special summon this card as an effect monster. Stuff fiend rather than. What does that mean? Okay, that card's dumb. That card's super dumb. <laughs> Draw. Alright. Sun Maidens. That means is more of a hero in this deck than freaking uh, Dante is. Terran Carney. What'd you expect from you, a mastery? <laughs> right? Is there any plays that I want to do? Or am I pretty chill this turn? I don't know. I feel pretty chill this turn, so I guess I'll just go ahead and end my turn. But if I wipe. No, I still get my effect. Right, because it's, it's the white that's pulling the attachment off his end mains. And some mains would trigger in the same end phase, so I'll go ahead and pop tear. Nice play. So I don't have to worry about wiping. Wipeage, we can go for that Dante now. 
Maybe an Alucard, depending on what he does. No. Stop. No shining angel effect. It was destroyed by card effects. <laughs> Did you see me attacking the shining angel? No. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and go for my box monster. It's two I got it. Two I got effect. Let's go ahead and summon one for my deck with effect negated, of course. I got one more scarm, right? Yeah. Let's do this. Like I said, I'm trying to make it so I don't have to run back now. Yet, my gut magic astro force will still be really good. So, let's get our effect on. Watch me, watch me build one of them. One, uh, two. I don't know, I'll get one of your effects. So three. Okay. You go to attack. You go to attack. All right. Let's do this. Ultimate Nightmare attack. Effect. That, that monster. Stirs attack and it's also destroyed. You take 1700. And you get your other reborn Tengu, which is fine because Dante is just gonna run him over and then I got oh but that third Tengu oh, wait, he's still at semi limited. I don't give a shit whether he goes up or not. Yeah, alright. Uh Okay, one more going. I might have to end the door early though, depending on how long it goes. But we'll get one more in. Hey, Mr. Milner. What, Mom? I leave it, leave it leave at 7 or 4. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm hmm. Well, that's why I run the one dark graffer. So I could combat the one new bell. It's smart like that. Perfect. I will go ahead and pay cost. Smash Brothers. Yep. So and smash. That's what I've been doing. You know I'm recording. I didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm done. Scrum effect. I will go ahead and get me a tour guide. I said I got all the revival in the world, just right now I don't got any bite. I should play like Royal Decree in this deck. The only trap I have in this deck I think is Limit Reverse, so I should probably splash in some Royal Decrees just to stop the back row. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Tanky, alright, we're going to get something Fire Fist related. He's gonna get bear, bear throw a chair. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm gonna lose to my own deck then. Call it, call us, please. All right. Damn. So consistent now. Now this is definitely the time I would like to earn some back row. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get out of this situation. Yep. My own deck has come here to beat me. Is that an ass ton of back row? I don't know how to play the deck. Hmm. John on back row, saw some uh, uh.
just wish I could figure out a way to get out of this situation, but... It's all that background and the Pleiades. It's gonna be a tough one. I don't think I can. I just gotta freaking rip off the attachments of him, of course. Trying to think what I can do. So you summon a burning abyss from the deck, right? Okay. So if I go tour guide, tour guide, summon a scarm, and then I exceed with the tour guide and the scarm, that should be it. Alright, thinking. Alright, so you have an ass ton of background to plead these. It's, it's hard. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know the play. I know the play. I played the deck, and that's the same exact play I do. So, that's it. That's it. I can't get rid of anything. <coughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. I can't do it. Ah, that's ironic, because that's the same exact play that I do, so I got beat by myself. Same deck, same play, same plea, the same cut, it, same vanity, emptiness, everything. Yeah, that deck is still very strong. Very, very strong. Ah, the snuggles are real, especially with no back row. Ah, I thought I could do this without any back row, but it's clearly I can. Yeah, it's 6.50, Mom. I'm about to end the video, and I'm going to take you. Now stop interrupting my video. God. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Plague Legacy Bell. Thanks for watching.